There are Shadripus, there are six enemies human beings have. But in the modern times they have multiplied, I think. The first one is the last. Kill your last. The last that is today finishing the West <coughs> more than the greed. So first is kill your lust, then kill your anger. There are certain people who have a built-in response that as soon as they see somebody, they get into anger. If a white man sees a black man, he gets into an anger. A black man sees a white man, he gets into anger. Surprise! I mean, God has made all kinds of skins. The life would be boring if you all had the same part skins, all of you looking the same. So He has made different types of beautiful people. But this anger can come from any source. This is what it is when you kill anger, actually you kill all your connections with the past, the responses, the conditionings you have had. Then the vanity that people have. I find it much more when I go to places where <coughs> people call themselves bureaucrats or they are in charge, like matrons, <laughs> telling people what to do, do this, do that, do that. This is the Krishna's finger, <laughs> using Krishna's finger on others. The vanity, the vanity that you are perfect, you are perfect. Nothing wrong with you. You are the best people. English think they are the best. Germans think they are the best. Uh, Italians think they are the best. Or, say, the best of all are the Switzerland, Swiss people. <laughs> this vanity, this falsehood, has to be cut out. What have we achieved by being a certain nation? Let us see. What have we contributed? Belonging to a certain country. Those who only belong to the Kingdom of God have achieved something. The rest of them are useless people, just finding some way to fight each other, to denounce others, and vanity is just like a balloon. If somebody just puts a pin into it, the whole thing, balloon will collapse. Then the worst of all is jealousy, and that is among Indians. Indians are very big jealous spots, especially the Indians who are again in the government and the politics. But otherwise also there are jealousies. They'll always complain about other people and will be jealous. And also in the West people are quite jealous, I must say. They are jealous of things which is most surprising. One day I was going in the car and one gentleman was very furious for nothing at all. So the another one tells me, they are jealous because you are sitting in a Mercedes car. I said, but that's not mine, that's my husband, you see. What is there to be jealous because I'm sitting in a Mercedes car? I mean, this is being a very stupid 
stupid nonsensical thing but still i can't believe you can be jealous of somebody because he has a mercedes car what does it matter to me I, it's a foreign idea absolutely can't understand but there are stupid and stupid things like that i can only understand one jealousy that is between husband and wife little bit <laughs> Then the fifth thing that he asked us to kill is the attachment very important this is my child this is my this is indian also more indian this is my cousin this is my brother this is my fiance this is my wife also in the west the other way round is that they do not care for their children they do not care for their mothers they do not care for their fathers they do not care for anyone whatsoever but for themselves that comes from the last one is called as the greed because when you have greed you don't care for anybody you just want to have everything from another person you want to grab another person of everything whatever another person has you want to have it but when you don't want to have it everybody wants to give you that's my case i am very afraid to say even that this is nice because immediately tomorrow i'll find it in my house <coughs> so this greed is the one which has done such a harm to the whole world people have gone into great dominations and on other countries for what for these diamonds and nonsensical things like that they have ruined their own lives the progenies of the progenies they have ruined all their cunning they have used to ruin so many nations just to put them one against another creating problems doing all kinds of intrigue just for what for greed which is absolutely like cancer doesn't allow anybody else to exist and then you start eating yourself out it's a disease i think greed and with that goes the miserliness people become miserly then where does this greed end up after all the money that accumulates or things that accumulate in your house what happens to them you want to use them <clears throat> so what happens to the people who are greedy they become miserly they can't enjoy life they cannot spend money because the greatest joy is in giving things to others no doubt about it and they cannot give any joy to anyone they cannot create anything for the future progeny to see so what happens to them their children when they come in they become wasted this they waste all their money they lead a wasteful life they get into wrong things and ruin themselves so their children are born become miserly so the vicious circle starts moving he has said kill all of them these are your six enemies 